Welcome to the beautiful Luxor. We are here discovering Egypt. Uh, right now we are crossing the Nile River. This is one of the longest um, rivers in all of Africa. It is 6,600 kilometers long and uh, I can't wait. This is where Cleopatra used to bathe in the nude. Of course we can't do that or maybe we can, we'll find out. Uh, we have this amazing tour that we took uh, from our hotel. So literally you can see the Valley of the Kings right across our hotel. I definitely recommend that if you're coming here, remember I'm all about energy. So if you can stay close to these amazing locations, you're gonna feed off the energy of the place, okay? So I'm gonna introduce uh, our captain for the Ramadan. day. His name is Ramadan. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and what do we have here? Tea? I drink tea. I like here Egyptian food. I like every single trip here. Egyptian tea. Egyptian tea. This tea, Egyptian whiskey. <laughs> oh, strong. I like it. Egyptian like it. whiskey. Cheers, <laughs> you guys. All right, guys. So we are crossing the Nile. And of course, we are once again with, uh, I like to call him my historian because he's the one giving <laughs> us all the history on this. We're crossing the Nile towards the King Valley. So uh, how are you? Pretty good, Jenny. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure. Thanks. And an honor. <laughs> all right. So what do we need to know before we get there? Well, we're going to go to the Valley of the Kings. This is a valley of the new dynasty, as it was coined in Germany back in 18, uh, 1800s by the archaeologists who actually discovered all this. And the thing is, among others, uh, the Ramses dynasty was actually uh, flourishing here in this valley, and Tutankhamun, King Tut also. We're talking about a period of time which was in between the 16, 1500s before Christ, all the way to 1100s, 900 after Christ, uh, before Christ. And I'm that's sorry. what we know. Yeah, but that's what we know. Really, who okay. knows? That's a surface that was scratched. I right. Mean, I know about that. Can you imagine? <laughs> Some people that are locals here uh, believe that it could be even more than that, than millions. And way more. So than who that. knows? Yeah. You know. Um, anything that you're excited about? I'm Tutankhamun, excited about maybe. everything. I mean, of course. Well, Tutankhamun, King Tut was the first one who was discovered. Uh -huh. And his tomb was so bright and beautiful that he Whoop. became really, we got a little bit of an anchor in Rome. We arrived! We well, All right, guys, uh, we'll, we'll see you there. The Come along. Three days. Three days? You have to be with, you, with us three days. <laughs> three, three days. To finish? To and finish and take it with you to your to home. finish this? Yeah, to be like this one here. Okay. What's your name? Jenny. You got like, you have, okay. to, you have to try, sorry. I have no choice, you have <laughs> to try. Uh, yeah, you have to try. Like this one, smaller and bigger. Okay, you the size. This one here, to build this one. After we finish to build this one here, we why is the cotton? The cotton protects the vase. When we make a hole inside, no break. Uh -huh. And after we start to polish the vase outside, like this one here. And after we polish it more with sand stone. Sand stone. Mira. Wow. So this, then that, then that. Right. Wow. Then this one, this is a finished one then of alabaster handmade. Like take 15 days work for one vase like this one. 
15 minutes. Because how many kilos before? Eight. Eight. How many kilos you say you think we're gonna be after 15 days or after Can you finish the bar now? Uh, <laughs> He's afraid I'm gonna drop it. No, don't worry. <gasps> yeah, Nothing. Wow. Right, this is like 300 grams or 400 oh grams. Also, so no, this is the alabastro handmade. Give it to the Sandela on the Lamba. Wow! You can say wow for you. Wow. This is a machine made, that's what you find in a street. Oh, this is not a real one. This is, mar this is marble, this is not a real one. What you find, is, this is not a good one. It's very heavy. You can see. No, this is marble. No, 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 marble. It's not marble. 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 It's not marble. marble. It's come from China. Yeah, it's oh, you have China? Yeah, we know. You have a China? No. 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 <laughs> so this is the original stone right here, look. It starts in this, then it goes to the smaller stone, then it goes to this process right here, then that process, and, I mean, and you have it, the painting on the wall that shows all the process, but they do this handmade, Fifth, three days, you said? No, 15 days 15, for one of those. 15 days for one of those, okay. Okay, sorry, sir. <laughs> give it to me. All right, guys, let's go okay, outside. Which one's the real basalt and which one's the fake one? Real. Both false. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yes, so, oh. yes, so. oh. Cheap, sir. Oh. Blast it. This is what you find in a street. Yeah. Hello, Hello. 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 They were trying to sell us, and the guy yeah. said, don't buy. Yeah, don't buy. Oh. This is a plastic. Oh, for me. Yeah, they're through plastic or resin. Oh, my oh. goodness. Ah. Look, look, they bought stone outside. Yeah, so don't buy knockoffs. You can't be great. Come on. This is a Lucian Bocasa. I'm going to go to the Kalisha. On trabajo with this one here to craft. Same the ancient Egyptian time working again. Wow. After he finished, look this one, this one finished one. Wow. Cool. After he finishing, he painted with color like this one. Look. How he gets the color? Look. From stone. Same the ancient Egyptian time. Natural color. Natural color. Look. Look at the color. With your finger yeah. they do? Yeah, no, it's a little pencil. Yeah. Yeah. After, even if you put water, this color never changed. Look here. Look. How you see this is the difference between the real and the yeah. fake one. That's fake? No, it's real. Oh. We don't say fake here. That's the way they used to do it. Wow. Wow. Listen. Wow. This is about the line story. You give me here, all right? <laughs> oh, okay. He wants my mom. <laughs> <laughs> he says, take whatever you want, leave your yeah, mom. Right? Good deal. <laughs> Good deal, mom. Yeah, no. Okay, my friend, are you papa? Mom? Just give me two Mama, minutes. Mama, does he see or no? Tal. Te quedas? Oh. Me? Yeah? You? Yes, yes or no? Uh, no. Oh, you broke my heart. You broke my heart. Sorry, <laughs> he broke my heart. Okay. I have to fly. Okay, I'm my friend. Okay. This is the line stone, see what I show you outside, okay? This is a very durable museum. Something come from grandfather, something unique piece, something that's 200 years ago, 500 years ago. It's not antique, but it's a good copy of antique. My grandfather was allowed to get the stone, big stone, and they work it here, but not now, okay? <laughs> so this is a special piece. If you How like some, old? We have something for 200 years ago, 500 years ago. Really? We, yes. You, we have very, and if you, if you, we, we're going to give you the guarantee. If you, like, say you're going to buy something. You're explaining that this is where, yeah. when they did the mummies, this is let's, where let's their... For you. <laughs> this is where the organs would go, so it would be conserved for a longer time, but not the heart. The heart was way. So if it was a heavy heart, it's because... Um, it's because they've sinned, and if it's not a heavy heart, that means that they would go to the afterlife. All right. Let me see. This is the um, um, the animals, he eat his heart. Then he right. going to back to the life. If the heart is heavy, the That's animal me. eats the heart. No, if it, yeah, if it's, if it's not heavy, the animal eats his heart. Oh, if it's not heavy, so That's it's pure. Heavy. That means that means a good man or a good woman. Heavy is good. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. my bad. Heavy is good. <laughs> and then he go to the paradise with the Aziz. If he's good, he go to the paradise. If he's okay. bad, this animal. A hat of lion and body of uh, a hat of crocodile and body of lion eat his heart. That means he will not come. He will not come back to life. He's dead forever. You're right. 
So no more reincarnation for a light heart. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in Jamaica. <laughs> what, okay. I think this is, are you from where? From Miami? Yeah. This is Miami size. Miami size. <laughs> Look at both Egyptian size behind you. Uh, where is the Egyptians? Oh my God. So, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Is that true? Oh my God. I love this animal head body thing. This is for good luck. I like uh, glow in the dark stuff, so I'm taking one of these. Wow, this is insane. Our museum, our Yeah, I like this. No, 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 it's okay. No, no, it's okay. Okay. Don't tell me I'm okay. Okay. My friend, come to see this one here. Wow, this is insane. Our museum, our grandfather, something unique pieces. Yeah, Guinea. You can accept them for them. If you here, but for for my friend, maybe she could change your mind. Okay. Maybe, maybe. Like, you know, yeah. we lived 800 uh, lives. So, give me two minutes more and I'll we have. This is alabaster stone. Here we have basalt stone. Like the first story of Bas Canop here. The Canop of Jars. They put the... What is the meaning? Okay, every moment we find, we have to find four pieces like this one. They put the, st the, the stomach and the, st and the body inside to protect for other life. They think they have other life, but not the heart. The heart, he go to the judgment. A judgment of, of Egypt here. Like, let's say, this is, okay, this is the heart, but something not heavy here. If it's good, yeah, he, it's will, light. he will go to the paradise with Osiris and Isis. If it's bad, then he go to the hell, or he's gonna eat him. This animal, we call him Am Am, will eat him. I would love to you eat you him? Nice, no, I will explain for you first. Oh. And, and a so, nice and nice piece. So he's explaining that this is where yeah. when they did the mummies, this is let's, where their <laughs> This is where the organs would go. So it would be conserved for a longer time, but not the heart. The heart was weighed. So if it was a heavy heart, it's because um, it's because they've sinned. And if it's not a heavy heart, that means that they would go to the afterlife. All right. Let me see. This is the am -am, the animals he eat his heart. Then he right. will go to back to the life. If the heart is heavy, the That's animal mean, eats the heart. No, if it, yeah, if it's, if it's not heavy, the animal eats his heart. Oh, if it's not heavy, so That's it's pure. Heavy. That means that means a good man or a good woman. Heavy is good. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. my bad. Heavy is good. <laughs> and then he go to the paradise with the If he's good, he go to the paradise. If he's okay. bad, this animal a head for, for of lion and body of uh, a head of crocodile and body of lion. Eat his heart. That means he will not go. He will not come back to life. He's dead forever. You're right. So okay. no more reincarnation for a light heart. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Why would it be? This is the it's, old it's, it's, <laughs> He's like what? How you guys? No, but, you know, normally you would think if it's heavy is bad yeah. and light is good, no. but I guess it's different that's, here. That's heavy. It's mean he would he have too much uh, good uh, good feeling. Oh, okay. Stuff. So full of love, yeah. basically. This animal head, body thing. This is for good luck. And what's the story with this little guy? I feel like I'm I feel like I'm in Jamaica. <laughs> what, okay. I think this is are you from where? From Miami? Yeah. This is Miami size. Miami size. <laughs> Look at both Egyptian size behind you. Uh, where's the Egyptians? Oh my god. So uh okay. <laughs> oh my god. Is that true? Oh my god. <laughs> Do it with me. Stay with me. Yeah, I went below. All right, guys, welcome to the Valley of the Kings. Are we ready to learn some history? Yes, ma'am, absolutely. Make sure you bring long sleeves, a big ass hat like this, and water. Come on. Please step. <laughs> <laughs> 
when we die to yeah? We actually came at a really good time because, um, oh, we don't eat the hat here. Because Ramadan is uh, not so many tourists and you also have to say shukram, thank you for anybody that offers something. Uh, but don't feel pressured to, you know, buy, 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 because of course everybody's gonna try to sell you something. Okay. We're we're uh, all full of energy. By the time we get out of here, we're gonna be like, we're gonna, yeah. <laughs> <Forget about us. laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you inside. This is the ticket office right here, uh, and yeah, come along. Very hot. Uh, was the king that ruled in the times of Moses. Hmm? So this dome was actually dedicated to him uh, uh, on the name of uh, Ahorati. Ahorati was a god that actually brought supposedly the powers from the sun. And in there, I mean, I mean, not in there, on top of the entrance of the thumb, there's an inscription indicating that Ra guides anyone who enters here. So technically, we're being guided by the sun according to Egyptian legend and Egyptian ancient religion, of course. <laughs> so what we get in here is the tomb of one of the pharaohs that actually gave birth to the rest of the majestic dynasty of the Ramses, right? And the Ramses were actually the rulers that went through one of the most fertile, say prosperous times in the history of ancient Egypt. Again, this is the time of the new dynasty, which is in between the 1500s before Christ, or 1,500 years before Christ, and around 1,900 years before Christ. So we're talking about very ancient, ancient times still.
that is amazing. <gasps> you see it? So you're gonna see, exactly, you're gonna see the pictures, you're gonna see all the geoglyphs, and made it to the center of the tomb of Menephtah, a king that actually was son of Francis II, and then moved forward to start, who was, again, as we were saying, one of the greatest dynasties of ancient Egypt, in between 1500 and 900 BC, or before Christ. Here's the main side of the tomb. not so hot but if you're not ready to go down a couple of hundred meters don't go in <laughs> it's very hot when you come back up so make sure you're in good physical health and time to cover up again let's go Okay guys, so now we are in the tomb of Ramses IX. He was one of the last rulers and pharaohs of the Ramses dynasty. Um, it, it's just unbelievable just being here and the fact that th these hieroglyphics took so much time since the moment that they became, became pharaohs till their death. So imagine how many years. Come along. Mm -hmm. great ruler of the Ramses dynasty. Ramses the IX actually ruled all over Egypt, all the way to the Nubian area, the Nubian kingdom as well, south of Egypt. This guy was a great builder. He didn't live as long as the other Ramses pharaohs, but he did leave a legacy. And we're seeing it right now in his majestic tomb. Coming out of the town of Ramses, we are seeing many significant things. Well, we know a little bit of geoglyphics, just the basics, so to know a couple of things. For example, look at this serpent. When you see a serpent, when you see a snake, you usually see a road, a wave, that is paved from the tail all the way to the head. In this case, 
This has been a bumpy, rocky way. You can see that the snake goes up and down. It's kind of entangled all the way until the head. It made it through, but it wasn't easy. That's what it will mean in Jeroglyph. A los 19 años murió el rey Tut. Él huyó del padre de Akenatón, se llamaba por sol, su nombre original era Tutankatón, y migra al Cairo para fundar la nueva ciudad en Egipto, porque eran los del rey Amón. Entonces cambia a Tutankamón, porque deja el reinado del padre Atón. Hatshepsut, she's the first one in the ancient Egyptian history traded, import and export. She import from Somalia to Egypt, like spices, like henna tree, like animals, giraffe, lion, buffalo, bulls, and she export some treasures like a copal and the iron and the silvers and the gold. She was a, the first one in the ancient Egyptian history traded and export and import. Smart woman. She was a very strong woman. She was a smart woman. Yes, yes. sure. That's fine. If you want to do my all right guys welcome to the temple of hadjit soup she was the first trader in the history of egypt so very smart woman Have sphinx on the side so as we know and we've learned throughout this trip that these were put here for protection and you can actually find them in most temples in the front amazing this kind of just takes your breath away being I mean you feel so tiny Wow <laughs> in the time of a prophet Moses. So Merim Bittah is the son of the King Ramses II. Actually, the pharaohs made the colors without any technology or machine at this time. Actually, they made the colors from the powder for white colors. This is a powder, the limestone powders, okay? And eggs white on the honey and the palm oil. For yellow colors, yellow eggs and the powder, the sandstone powder and yellow eggs and the palm oil and the honey. Uh, for the black colors came from oxide. Mariano's happy because he yeah, saw his I'm super happy to this moment. It is my dream. Yeah. Yay. Beautiful. Making dreams come true. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is our last stop for today. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I must say, and some of the locals uh, agreed that this is an energy place. So if you're coming, make sure that you don't just take picture, picture, picture. You actually take some time to breathe, to relax. Uh, we actually asked permission uh, here. You you call it, you know, to pray, and they allowed us to pray. So we, um, me, my mom, and the people that we were with, and the locals, we all united hands and uh, meditated. You know, I just told them uh, breathe, and they say, but I prayed to Allah, and I'm like, it doesn't matter who you pray to, just breathe, relax tried to feel the energy and uh, it was unbelievable uh, everybody had a different experience um, so I recommend even if you're alone you just 
stand there and take a little bit and just breathe and you could feel the energy in the palm of your hands it's crazy well not crazy it's very real <laughs> but um like i said it's a different experience for everybody i just wish that you take it with the respect that you need to take it and not just take it as a tourist attraction like everybody else does so uh you want to get the best out of your experience and to get the best out of the experience in egypt egypt is a very high power energy location so take your time walk slowly breathe in absorb the energy here and i promise you will have a change see you next tomorrow we'll see where life takes us